Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kayla, this is Cork Budget, and let's get into this week's video. Okay, so I'm not feeling the best. I It's that time of the month and it's just not working out for me, but we are doing this video tonight because we are paying off my credit card paying it off, La like the last payment on the credit, we're, we're done. If you have not been following my channel, I have had a Capital One card since I was 18 and I just racked up things on it. Like I just been spending some reckless, some not, some bills, all of these different things. And then I had done one balance transfer and I did the classic, oh, it's, it's, an empty balance transfer let me just keep spending on the other one so I racked up a couple more thousand dollars on that and then I was done I was finally done I did three balance transfers to get all of the balances over to a zero percent interest and then I made a plan to pay all three of those off I paid off the city card and the Huntington card this year and the discover is my last card I have currently five hundred and ninety five dollars of debt on my credit card and we are paying that off today it is just insane to me that we are finally at the end of this journey because honestly, I am 31, I'll be 32 in four months. So I've had this credit card debt in varying amounts for years and I've always had all of these grand plans to pay it off and then it just continuously got more and more ridiculous. And I really have worked hard this year to pay all of this off and it is just, insane to me that we are we're here like I'm about to make this payment it's really exciting I obviously know that like I put myself into this position but um it's exciting to be the one that's getting myself out of this position also so I am really excited I have been really really responsible with my spending and using my credit cards to my advantage over the past year and I feel like I am ready to take on my new like finance journey with no debt. I will probably go into a little bit more of this um, maybe in like an end of the year wrap up video but let's just go ahead and get into my transactions for the week. So we did get the next paycheck for um, my main job and it was $2.66 over, which is obviously not too crazy exciting, but that is what we ended up getting. Also, um, outside of that, I put in my 401k income, so we did end up putting in uh, $3.64 over what I had budgeted for my 401k. So that's the income for the week. Moving over to transactions, I actually did have some other income, I forgot. I did a catering job and it was just a couple hours, but I did get $45 for that. So I put that in to my um, account, but I'm actually kind of like using that for a couple of things. So I used $10 of it to get myself a pretzel at a hockey game. I really wanted a pretzel and I was like, you know what, I made money, so I'm gonna treat myself to a pretzel. So I did get that. And then what I did is I actually took a dollar out of my buffer to um, make up the difference, to make it $36 difference here, if that makes sense, to pull out $36 because I am getting my lashes done next month for a lash trial for the wedding. So we're going to be going on vacation and I figured that'd be a good time to kind of like do a few like beauty self-care things and it would double as like a vacation thing and then also a trial for the wedding so I needed to pull out 36 more dollars because I do have some cash that I was putting into a savings challenge so I pulled out the rest of that to make up the difference for my lashes this was like I said just that buffer money that I kind of like moved around and then my first expense was seasick patches with everything going on in the ocean right now us being in um, a cruise ship next month. I just kind of wanted to have all of our seasickness covered. So I did um, buy some seasick patches from Amazon. I just put that under miscellaneous because we're paying all of the miscellaneous expenses back this week and I just wanted them all to be totaled together. Next up, we went to a holiday like Christmas market thing and they had the like sugared pecans that are super like the warm. Uh, 
They were so good. I wanted them. I don't know that they were good enough for $9.44, but I bought them anyway. I was feeling some type of way. And then I finally finished off getting everything for Christmas. I am making soup for everybody for Christmas dinner, so I needed to finish off getting all of the like perishable-ish things that I couldn't get until now, and um, I also got some drinks too. So that was my holiday money there. And then while I was at Aldi, I just got some regular groceries for myself. Like I said, my main paycheck did come through. So that was $1,152.66. I do have to put in the income for my 401k to then give it an allocation to my investments. So that is all done for my income and my 401k. I went ahead and put the last two bills that I have for this month into the system just to keep my numbers up to date. So my electric bill will be 176 and then rent will be $648.50. Those are automatic. Well, the rent's not, but the electric will be an automatic payment. So that's gonna come out and I'm just gonna go ahead and check that off. And I can't pay rent until a couple more days from now, like the portal thing doesn't update. So I'll do that here in a little bit. Next up, I did move over my honeymoon money. So I'm only doing $82.31 and that kind of like rounds out the payment that we need for next month so that's why it's a kind of odd number and then today my fiance went to sam's club and i decided since i still had a good amount of grocery money left to have him get me my my mini cokes that i drink um it's just cheaper and overall to get them at sam's club and since he was going there um i was just like go ahead and get those for me even though i'm trying to just, like do a low spend on my groceries i still had some money so i went ahead and had him get those i did go and get gas today i wanted to fill up like for the rest of the month and like for the holidays and stuff we'll be driving around but also just to have it kind of like a full tank to start the next month so I spent $36.15 on gas and then I have totaled up everything and all of my expenses from last month and all of the couple things that I've purchased this month and I was um, waiting on my cash back for my credit card because I put all of my cash back as a statement credit. So I was waiting for my cash back to see what the um, difference would be for the purchases. So the difference was $10.33. And since I had grocery money, like I said, I just went ahead and took that from grocery and put that as an overage on to my um, miscellaneous category where I was kind of parking a few of those transactions. So I have all the money to pay back all of my transactions on my credit card plus the debt amount that I need to pay. So let's go ahead and get that paid. All right, we're about to pay off this credit card. So my current balance with all of my expenses and all of the debt and everything. So I have my debt amount and then each week I have all of my expenses and I pay all the expenses and then my debt just kind of continues. So I have $988.92, but I put on my cash back. So $988.92 minus $2407. So we are gonna be paying $964.85 onto the card right now. And then once all those payments process, it will be a zero balance. I literally cannot like, That just happened. I want these all to process like right now and they're not going to, but that's frustrating. That's it. That's it, we did it. It's done. Okay, so let's go ahead and check off all the expenses that we paid. I did pay for this miscellaneous. I paid both of these, the holidays and grocery, not rent. I did move money into that account. I sent him money. The only thing I haven't paid yet is gas and that's because it hasn't posted. They won't let me pay over the amount, but um, yeah, that's it. Let's go over to here. My December payment is gonna be nine or five ninety five oh seven, and that puts us at a zero balance. It's so exciting and I feel like I've done so much work to like deal with this 
it's gonna be wild next year like just not having that on here there's so much excitement happening right now and I appreciate everyone that has come on the journey with me um, I know I don't have a lot of followers but it's been nice seeing all of your comments and things um, yeah so whenever the gas transaction hits I'll go ahead and pay that as well and then it should be at a zero uh, I don't feel like I'm going to spend any money this weekend just with Christmas and everything like not a lot is going to be open um, so I don't think I'll be spending a lot of money so ideally I'll get an actual like screenshot of the zero balance and it'll stay that way like the next week when I have my expenses I'll just pay them and then there won't be anything on the credit card Oh, this is so exciting, friends. Like, I needed this, like, boost for the end of the year to, like, make myself feel better and make myself out of a little bit of funk and just kind of go into the new year fresh. Now, I don't have debt, but I do have a wedding, and <laughs> that bitch is expensive. So, as much as I want to say, oh, I have $600 a month now that I'm not putting on my credit card... It's not quite the case um I have to well I mean it is I'm not putting on a credit card but I definitely have to put that into savings for the wedding because it is coming up and I have been focusing so much on the credit card that I really need to dump quite a bit of money to pull my my section of things that I need to pay so yeah there's quite a bit of things that I need to take care of but Let's look at what we have left for the rest of this. Um, I do need to put in that I paid this Discover, so $749.67 I'm going to put in. And that is honestly just because, um, this is not right, that is just because I parked that money over into my debt because I knew that I was going to need some overage money. but. I have already like processed all of that obviously. 749.67. Oh my god, I can't believe it's done. I can't believe it's done. It's gonna be wild next year. Just wild. I'm not gonna feel the full effects of all of this really um for another probably seven or eight months just because I have quite a bit of other things to deal with with the wedding and all those things so yeah it's it's not quite hit me but it is definitely it's definitely a little crazy um okay so what we have left here I have anything that's highlighted in green even though it's a negative I have taken care of it like I have allocated money to go towards that so currently we still have twenty dollars and fifty cents in gas twelve sixty nine in grocery three thirty for the beans a dollar fifty for household twenty nine dollars in serious ten dollars for death sugar fry which is my period category and I will be using that tomorrow because I want a pretzel we did get $10.31 for interest this month. I have put a little bit into my buffer. We still have $8.37 for the holidays, and I don't think I'm going to need anything else for that. So um, I'm, I'm going to roll that over into a different category for next month. And then I still need to go get the cash for my cruise. I have it um, like in my account now that I've gotten paid, but I still need to go and like pull the actual cash out. So that is what we're sitting at. I cannot fucking believe that my credit card is paid off. My credit cards, all of my credit cards are paid off. I literally, I can't, I just can't believe it. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and being on this journey with me. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot to say because I'm just a little bit in awe. I am planning to do an end of the year video, so there will be kind of like some information in that video and like more like, I guess, in-depth things versus just my normal weekly video. But 
I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like and a subscribe if you are interested in seeing more of my budget throughout 2024 and just all the other things that I'm going to get up to in the next few months.